In one of my tutorials, I showed you how to create a decal in a mug. But it was just a fast example and I didn't have the chance to examine the decal tool in depth. Well, that's exactly what I'm going to do now. First of all, the decal tool requires an image to project on a surface. The image requires a 2D sketch and the sketch requires a plane. You can both use an existing plane or planar face of your model and a working plane created on purpose. Let's test the decal tool on a simple model like a box. I have already picked a PNG image I found on the web. In order to project it on a face of a box, simply choose a face, create a new 2D sketch, insert the image, move it to the right position and scale it until it's completely included in the face boundaries. Back in a modeling environment, use the decal tool. Select the image and the face for the projection, then confirm the result. But what happens when you want an image without background or when you deal with a cylindrical surface? Well, let's start with the first situation. In this case, the same image I previously used generates two different results. PNG images allow transparency when needed, so you can choose whether maintaining the background or not in Inventor. Image default settings usually don't allow transparency. If you need it, you can change this property just following the simple steps. Modify the sketch where the image is located. While in sketching environment, right-click the image on the browser and select Properties. Then, check the Allow Mask option. The background automatically becomes transparent. Now, let's talk about what happens when dealing with a cylindrical surface. The situation is a bit more complicated. In fact, the decal tool projects an image on a surface along a vector perpendicular to the plane where the image itself is located. When the surface is planar and parallel to the image plane, no distortion occurs. Otherwise, especially when the surface is cylindrical, you can get a distorted and cut projection. This is what happens. You can see that the cylinder on the right has a stretched and cut image as decal. The result gets even worse if I change the position of the image. The decal you see on the left body instead is always perfect, but why? Well, the difference lies in the wrap option inside the decal tool. While checked, this option allows the image to wrap the cylinder without distortions and cuts. You can check or uncheck the option both when creating a decal and when modifying it. Can you spot the difference now? You can now fastly solve this issue with a click. Here you see an example of a decal on a teen where the wrap option is checked. The image is perfect, seamless and uniform on the cylindrical body. Last example is about the connection between the decal tool and the normal of a working plane. Each plane comes with two sides. The one is positive and the other is negative. Inventor shows and identifies the two sides with different colors. Orange for positive and blue for negative. To make it simple, normal is a vector setting which side of a plane is positive and which one is negative. Let's try to apply a decal on the rear face of the box. I create a working plane this way, then I start a 2D sketch and insert an image. Yes, it's always the grumpy cat. Then, in the modeling environment, I select the decal tool. I immediately realize that I cannot select the desired face. 
paying more attention, notice that the working plane where I have just put the image is colored in blue. The other side is orange. So I start thinking that maybe I've just created my sketch on the negative side of a plane. That's why the tickle tool doesn't work properly. Fortunately, flipping a plane is always possible. You can right-click on the plane, both in the graphic area and in the browser menu, and select the option Flip Normal. Now try to start a new sketch on the orange side of the plane. Choose an image and use the Tickle tool. You see, the rear face is now allowed, and you can create a Tickle. Notice that you can flip the normal of a working plane any time you like or need. In this case, if I try to flip the normal, I lose the tickle. So use flip normal carefully. Thank you for watching.